Here's the thing, guys. If you love French onion soup and you love meatballs, you are going to love this French onion soup meatball casserole. Easy to make, incredibly delicious, so let me show you how to do it. So first things first, into a mixing bowl with a pound of medium ground beef. Then in with a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You do not have to use it, but I just love it. A couple of tablespoons of everybody's all-time favorite ketchup. And yes, you must have guessed it about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and you can use fresh garlic too, but this does keep the count away. Another teaspoon of something I use all the time, Italian seasoning. A little crack of salt, not too much, I'd say about a teaspoon. And last but not least, about a teaspoon or two of ground black pepper. Now we are going to get right down and dirty with our hands and mix everything until it's well combined. And you will notice I'm wearing my fancy gloves here. You don't have to wear them. I guess I'm wearing them because I like them. Maybe because they're blue. I don't know. Now grab up a good pinch of that ground beef mixture and kind of roll it into a ball. And the size is kind of up to you, but I'd say mine are about, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches in diameter. Now we are just going to go ahead and set those meatballs into a cast iron pan because they are going into the oven. Now you don't have to use a cast iron pan, just use an oven proof pan and you'll get about 16 meatballs out of this. Now into that oven set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 or 30 minutes. While those meatballs are baking, we are going to make up our caramelized onions by grabbing up three onions and slicing them into, oh, I'd say about half inch pieces or slices. Now I'm just using a plain old yellow onion, but of course you can use the onion of your choice, whatever your little heart desires into a pan over medium high heat with about two or three tablespoons of butter. Another tablespoon of olive oil to keep the butter from burning. So just kind of swirl and twirl that butter around just to get it melted down. Grab up those onions and throw them in. And of course you want to kind of ring them up there. And I always add a few cracks of salt because that just helps the onion sweat down. Then we'll just kind of stir them and throw them around for about five or 10 minutes over medium high heat. And this is the point where they are really, really, really beginning to smell good. And now they're starting to get that brown on there. We're going to reduce the heat to medium low and let them cook away, stirring occasionally for about 20 or 25 minutes until those meatballs are baked. And now our meatballs are done and aren't they looking super delicious, fantastic. So we're just going to set these aside for a few minutes. And lo and behold, looky see, our onions are done at the same time and they smell fantastic and don't they look delicious. Alrighty then, into those onions, about two and a half cups of onion soup mixture. And I just bought a pouch for about a buck fifty-nine. Get it at any grocery store. Followed by a couple of bay leaves and some fresher dried thyme. A little bit more garlic, I'd say about oh, half a teaspoon or so. Of course, a little bit more of that Worcestershire sauce. And last but not least, a little bit more ground black pepper. Now, of course, we're going to give everything a good stir. And oh my goodness, guys, I gave this a taste and it is simply out of this world. I mean, if you really just wanted a soup, you could go ahead and serve this up the way it is. Of course, that would be silly. We're not going to do that. We're going to scoop up that mixture and put it over top of those meatballs. I should have mentioned earlier too that the amount of liquid is a matter of personal preference. If you want it soupier, you know, go ahead and add about three cups of liquid, but I like it about two and a half. In with a cup of seasoned croutons, and you can use a baguette or, you know, French bread, whatever you like too. And you want to push these down and submerge them a little bit because you want them to soak in that liquid. Then of course, some Swiss cheese over the top. And I just bought slices, makes life a whole lot easier. And you know, you can arrange it however you like. I just kind of laid them on, sliced and trimmed a little bit, not too, too fussy. All right, back into the oven for another 10 minutes or so until that cheese melts down beautifully. After about 10 minutes, there it be, guys. And oh, oh, does this ever smell good and it looks incredible. Back over the top with a little bit more fresh thyme just to make it all pretty like and a little bit more flavor. And you lift this up and bite into it. It is simply a delightful experience. Those caramelized onions, that soup mixture, the cheese, the meatballs. Oh my goodness, it is just something, something, something else. Believe me, definitely a must make. And like I say in every video, if you like what you saw, give us a like. It really does help us out. And if you're so inclined, subscribe.